In today's video, I was going to visit a few stations on the Marston Vale line, and it was going okay. Until it very, very, very suddenly wasn't. So you may remember a video from a few months back where I went to the Marston Vale line, and I said, when, when full service gets reinstated on this line, I really, really want to come back here and explore some of the stations. And well, this is me coming back to the line, because now on the Marston Vale line, full rail service has been restored. There are no more rail replacement buses, and I get to sort of mark the occasion. Um, for three months, the first three months of full rail service being restored, they're only selling tickets for one pound. One pound singles for the entire line, no matter how much of the line you do. And for me as well, I have a rail card, so it gets discounted further to 65p. So now is pretty much a perfect time for me to come back, like I said I would, and explore some more of the Marston Vale line. So I have a whole pre-made plan ready for the day. We're going to be visiting a few stations, and we are just pulling into Bedford right now on this EMR Connect service. So let's get out and let's begin. <laughs> Alright, well, Bedford. Now, I know I can just get the Marston Vale line from here, like it does start at this station, but in order to get an extra station, I'm actually going to walk from here now to Bedford St. John's. Just because I can, it's not actually that far, it's like 20 minutes. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, what the heck? What the heck is this? It's the British Pullman! I didn't plan for this. That's an interesting surprise. Well, that's uh, certainly a surprise. It wasn't even on the plan. <laughs> Great. Anyway, let's do what we were actually doing and go into Medford St. John's. So yeah, Bedford St. John's is about 20 minutes away. It's not a very huge walk, it's just over the river, really. All right, Bedford St. John's. Here we are. That's still the old uh, London Midland signage up there. Well, my, this station is uh, tiny. It's a two-car accommodating platform, and there's only one of them. So this is the entire station. It's interesting that they've got a uh, huge double arrow sign here. Normally you see those on, like, the road outside the station, but apparently they've got one on the platform right here. So the next train out of here is in 13 minutes towards Bletchley and we're gonna be taking it to Stewartby. So while I'm just at the station right now, I've got a bit of time to kill before the train, I'll just explain the uh, 65 pence ticketing a bit further. So right now, essentially, it is just one pound singles across the entire line. No matter if you go one stop or the whole line, it will cost you one pound without a rail card. But for me as well, I actually have a rail card on top of all of that, and the rail card discount also applies to these already very discounted tickets. So they only cost 65p for me. Or if you're aged 16 to 17, where you can get 16 to 17 saver, it gives you 50% off. You can get them for 50p. It's kind of insane. So of course I'm going to take advantage of this and just use a few singles to just hop back into along the line, take advantage of it while I can. It'll be a lot more expensive in, I think it's sometime in May when they stop doing this, so get down here before May if you want to do the line yourself. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's going to be a lot cheaper doing it now. The service is definitely a lot busier than when I last came here, when it wasn't fully restored yet. There was only like two or three people other people on the train, but no, this one, like, every row has at least one passenger on it, so that's good to see. Here's Kempston Hardwick. We'll be coming back here not too long from now. Stuart B. Wonderful. As much as I would have loved to pop, like, down there, I can't really because I've only got 10 minutes between the next train out that goes from the other platform, and the only way to cross platforms is by going over the level crossing, so I kind of needed to just get here ASAP. The sun is 
trying its best to break through the clouds, but yeah, it's like finally getting nice and sunny, kind of warm, and it sort of just smells spring-like. This is probably my favorite time of year. I'm very happy right now. All right, so, second train. We will be taking this just one stop back to Kempston Hardwick. It's a slight shame I wasn't able to really explore around, but oh, well, at least I've backed the station now, so I've got that ticked off. Also, Julie Berry announcements on a Northern Interior 150 just... That just feels so strange. Right, Kempston Hardwick, very cool. So unlike Stuart B, I've got something like 40 minutes here. So I'll actually be able to have a little bit of a look around before the next train comes. So what's around here? I honestly don't really know. It's a quite middle of nowhere station as is indicated on this map here. You know, the nearest civilizations of 50 minute walk away, which I will not really be able to get to. So I'm gonna just get heading this way first, out of the way, uh, just so I can get back to the other platform in time and don't get caught out by the level crossing, so I have no risk of it. Oh, interesting. What's this place? I'm assuming this is public. No idea. No fishing or swimming. All right, cool, gotcha. We'll, we'll try my best not to do that. Well, it appears I have once again ended up in some random field. <laughs> this keeps happening to me on these station visiting trips. <laughs> Honestly though, being stood in a place like this with the nice sort of fresh spring air after the long winter, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, wow, this, this feels very nice. I'm not sure what this is though. It's just randomly, this random wooden thing in the middle of the field. Interesting that uh, large vehicles actually need to get permission to cross this level crossing. They've got to like park here and then phone up. Huh. Very cool. Well, I'm going to sit down and now wait for the next train out and we're going to take it to, I think, Lidlington. Yeah. Ooh. Oh dear, so the one on the, the next train on the other platform is cancelled and so is the next Bletchley train after the one I'm meant to get from here. The one I'm meant to get is delayed. <laughs> Thankfully the two cancelled trains are not ones that I need to get in the plan, very luckily, but my current train being delayed, that's a little worrying. <laughs> oh no! Mine's cancelled now too, there's been a signalling failure. Crap, um, what do I do now? That's, that, that's a very big problem. <laughs> so I've taken some time to weigh up my options and um, because I, my plan, I needed to get back to Bedford because uh, I've got plans for the evening. Um, so I pretty much couldn't really afford for things to go wrong today. Um, but I can't get out of Kempston Hardwick. I'm stuck here. There's nothing here. And I'm stuck here for two hours. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately, I'm gonna just have to cut my trip short and try and see maybe if LNWR can arrange a taxi back to Bedford. If not, I can call like an Uber or something. But right now that's pretty much my only way I can get out of here. So yeah, as much as it pains me to say, I think I am actually gonna have to cut this trip short. This video has gone a bit wrong, but oh well. You can't ever have perfection, can you? God, yeah, oh well. You can't really plan for these things. That's a shame. I mean, hey, at least the scenery's nice. Could have been worse. Wait, 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 wait. There's a train coming. What? 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 
What? <laughs> they said this train was cancelled. Well, I mean, it's like 30, 40 minutes late, so I'm just, I, my plan is already scuppered, but... What? It's beyond me. What is going on? I mean... That is so strange. It said all the trains were cancelled, and then this one shows up. I... But then again, though, it is going the wrong way to the plans I needed, and it was too delayed anyway, but... Still, just what the hell? This is so weird. Right, we are being held outside of Bedford St. John's, um... Signal like that is still very much failing. Um, I think the, the driver just is waiting for permission to pass the signal at danger. So we shouldn't be too far off Bedford now. Right, we are almost back in Bedford now. I can escape the uh, disrupted area. Yeah, that... that really sucks. That really sucks. Well, here we are. We are back in Bedford. A bit earlier than we'd have hoped, but nonetheless, we are back from the Marston Vale line. As much as it sucks, these things just happen. Once in a blue moon, something goes wrong, and yeah, you can't really avoid it. That's life, I suppose. I hope you were able to enjoy the part of the plan I was able to do, but yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed what I was able to make of this video, and uh, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't happen again for a bit of a while, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye! And of course, a huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel.